recent years, China has been rapidly expanding its naval capabilities, with a particular focus on aircraft carriers. The country's quest for a robust carrier fleet has led to speculation about the development of a carrier that closely resembles the renowned U.S. Ford-class carriers. Leaked images and reports have fueled rumors about the Type 004 supercarrier, suggesting that China may be building its own version of the nuclear-powered Ford-class carrier. By embracing nuclear-powered carriers, China seeks to strengthen its military capabilities, expand its influence, and achieve strategic dominance in the Asia-Pacific region. In this video, we will explore the Type 004 supercarrier and its potential similarities to the U.S. Ford-class carriers and how it is affecting China's carrier development program. So buckle up and let us get started. China's naval modernization efforts have been a key component of its broader strategy to assert itself as a global power. Recognizing the significance of aircraft carriers in projecting force and safeguarding maritime interests, China has embarked on an ambitious journey to expand its carrier fleet. With the Liaoning, the country's first aircraft carrier, and the domestically built Type 001A carrier, China has already demonstrated its commitment to enhancing its naval capabilities. Leaked images and reports surrounding the Type 004 supercarrier have not only generated excitement, but also sparked comparisons with the renowned U.S. Ford-class carriers. One of the most striking similarities is the size of the Type 004, with an estimated displacement of around 85,000 tons. It surpasses China's previous carriers and aligns closely with the U.S. Ford-class carriers in terms of sheer magnitude. This larger size translates into a spacious flight deck, allowing for the accommodation of a substantial air wing that can rival the impressive capabilities of American carriers. Further leaks indicate that the Type 004 supercarrier may adopt an advanced launch system similar to the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System emails, employed by the U.S. Ford-class carriers. This technology replaces traditional steam catapults with electromagnetic catapults, providing smoother acceleration and enabling the launch of heavier aircraft. By incorporating e-mails, China aims to enhance its carrier-based aviation capabilities and potentially operate next-generation fighter jets, further mirroring the technological advancements seen in American carriers. It has also been rumored that the Type 004 supercarrier might feature an integrated electric propulsion system skin to the U.S. Ford-class carriers. This propulsion system offers numerous benefits, including increased operational efficiency and reduced noise signatures. By embracing electric propulsion, China aims to improve the stealthiness and survivability of its carrier, following in the footsteps of the American carriers that prioritize these advancements. Including an electric propulsion system would mark a significant leap forward for China's carrier technology. Moreover, the leaked images hint at the inclusion of advanced radar systems on the Type 004 supercarrier, similar to the advanced radar systems found on the U.S. Ford-class carriers. These cutting-edge radar systems provide long-range surveillance capabilities, enhancing situational awareness and bolstering the carrier's defensive capabilities. Such similarities indicate that China strives to match the U.S. carriers in terms of technological sophistication and combat readiness. Now, with the imminent launch of the Fujian, China's third carrier, speculation arises that the next carrier, the Type 004 supercarrier, could be nuclear-powered. This move would align China with the select group of countries, including the United States and France, that operate nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. The Chinese government has set ambitious goals for its carrier program, with Pentagon predictions indicating that China aims to operate six aircraft carriers by 2040. This expansion signifies a significant leap in China's naval capabilities, reflecting its growing strategic interests in the Asia-Pacific region. To achieve this, China plans to create two carrier-based fleets, each with two carriers capable of independent deployment. Currently, China's People's Liberation Army Navy, PLAN, operates nuclear-powered submarines, which has provided valuable experience in handling and maintaining advanced systems. Drawing from this knowledge, China's Shipbuilding Corporation has set a goal to achieve a breakthrough in nuclear-powered technology by 2027. This milestone would lay the foundation for the construction of the Type 004 supercarrier, solidifying China's status as a global naval force. Nuclear-powered aircraft carriers offer numerous operational advantages over conventionally-powered vessels. 
Firstly, they have an extended operational range, enabling them to maintain a persistent presence in distant waters without the need for frequent refueling. This endurance allows for prolonged missions and enhances the carrier's ability to project power across vast distances. Secondly, nuclear propulsion systems provide immense power generation capabilities, essential for driving advanced weapons, sensors, and mission systems on modern warships. With abundant electricity available, nuclear carriers can effectively support a larger air group and maintain enhanced combat readiness. Furthermore, nuclear-powered carriers can employ catapult launch systems, leveraging the steam generated by the reactors. This propulsion not only powers the ship, but also propels aircraft off the deck, enabling the launch of heavier aircraft with increased range and payload capacity. In contrast, conventional carriers rely on logistical support, such as replenishment ships and forward bases, to sustain operations. Nuclear-powered carriers operate with significantly reduced logistical strain, as they do not require frequent refueling or extensive forward support. This grants them increased operational flexibility and decreased vulnerability. By pursuing a nuclear-powered carrier, China aims to overcome these operational limitations and establish itself as a formidable naval power. This bold move not only enhances China's ability to project strength far beyond its shores, but also signifies its commitment to technological advancement and the pursuit of global influence. In conclusion, China's carrier program has made remarkable strides, evolving from retrofitted vessels to indigenous carriers and now setting its sights on nuclear-powered capabilities. The development of the Type 004 supercarrier aligns with China's ambitious plans to expand its carrier fleet and solidify its status as a global naval force. As China continues to make progress in its carrier program, the world watches with anticipation to see how its naval capabilities will shape the geopolitical landscape in the years to come. In conclusion, China's carrier program has made remarkable strides, evolving from retrofitted vessels to indigenous carriers, and now setting its sights on nuclear-powered capabilities. The development of the Type 004 supercarrier aligns with China's ambitious plans to expand its carrier fleet and solidify its status as a global naval force. The world watches with anticipation as China continues to progress in its carrier program, as its growing naval capabilities will undoubtedly shape the geopolitical landscape in the years to come. That would be all for this video. But did you know that Japan has also recently completed its biggest aircraft carrier ever? It is so massive that even the US is worried. To find out, click on this video right here. How Japan's billion dollar aircraft carrier will change the face of naval warfare. So what are you doing? Click it now.